Good morning. For Traders Exclusive, this is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. What I'd like to do is talk about the equity markets. Equity markets are doing quite well. In fact, the market breadth keeps improving, which gives me the idea that this rally may still have a while to go. Now, a lot of people are calling for a top at these levels because the S&P 500, basically at around 2100, it's just about the ninth time over the last year where it's trying to take out that high and kind of like hasn't quite done it. You know, ran up to 2132 last year. Of course, we had a big correction and now it's having another attempt at that level. Now, we're talking about the market, market breadth. We'll get to that in a little bit. But also, one thing that's notable is the S&P 500 Spider, otherwise known as the SPY, SPY, that hit an all-time high last week. Uh, and the difference is there because that accounts for the dividend, so that's a little bit more of a total return. So when you have that and market breadth improving, that tells you the stocks may go higher. Now, so we're going to struggle here, but I think it'll push through. Now, as long as S&P holds that 2014 level, we're probably in pretty good shape. That's the 200-day line. Now, the NASDAQ is a little bit weaker. It got hit pretty hard last Friday, and that came after Microsoft reported earnings Thursday night and Google, and uh, they missed, and that pretty much spread to the rest of the large-cap tech stocks. We saw hits in Facebook, Apple, uh, Broadcom, uh, pretty much all the large-cap stocks. So, however, this week, we're going to get reports from Facebook and Apple, Amazon, uh, big biotechs like Solgene, Gillian, Amgen, and we'll see how the market reacts to those earning reports. So uh, the situation is still fluid. Now look at the S&P sectors. Over the last few weeks, we see leadership in the financials and the healthcare sector, materials, industrial, and the energy, and that's really good for the market. And we've also seen a weakening in utilities and staples. And again, that's very good. We get this market rotation that's very for, healthy for the market. Now, we, we talk about market breadth, I'm talking about the NYSE advanced decline line, continues to hit new highs. Now, every time a market has turned into from a top into a bull market, we're going to see this advanced decline line turn down first prior to the indices. So not until I see a significant downturn in that advanced decline line, pretty much this rally is on. And it's on also because there's still a lot of skepticism. Uh, there was a Gallup poll that uh, surveyed how many people are investing in the stock market, whether through a retirement, 401ks, or whatever, and it's down to 52%. That's the lows we saw in 2013, which is way off the lows that we've seen over the last uh, 20 years, where it averaged anywhere from about 58 to 60%. And also, Barron's had a survey of uh, professional money managers, and basically two-thirds of them see more downside than upside. So we basically have a pretty good performing market, and no one's believing it, which again leaves leaves me to believe that we may see some upside. Now, as far as recession goes, last week we had leading economic indicators came out, up 0.2% in March. And again, pointing that we're probably not going to be in a recession, at least not now. Usually we're going to see a downturn in the leading economic indicators before a recession happens. So we also see outperformance by the mid caps, small caps, and micro caps, also very good. Again, getting back to this theme of market breadth. So in summary, a lot of things going on in the market, and this week we're going to get a lot of earnings, as mentioned, from all the, the companies, and also we have a lot of economic data. We're going to get order in durable goods. Uh, FOMC is going to have a statement. Uh, we're also uh, going to get GDP report. Everyone's expecting a pretty weak report, but I think that's baked in. So let price and volume be your guide. This is George Kachuk, where I've seen Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor. Have a great trading week.